children of all ages, freaks and geeks, trolls and derps alike. Welcome, welcome all. I am Mullet Mike, bringing you Creepy Gaming. If you're just joining us, this is the show where we take a look at all kinds of scary video game aspects over the years. Oh, 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 got something special for you today. Today, we will be covering none other than Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. Special shout out to all these fine folks right here. These guys right here. All of these people right here. Thank you so much for your suggestions. Keep them coming and keep them. So, let's not drag this out anymore. Without further ado, turn the lights down and the volume up as we journey. Grand Theft Auto. These three words resonate loudly throughout gaming culture. Speaking personally, the Grand Theft Auto series has to be my favorite video game series of all time, and that's saying something. What is it that makes the GTA game so great? Well, there are many answers to that question. There's not just one reason GTA kicks ass, but it's many features that contributes to the series' overall greatness. For starters, the GTA games break down the boundaries of typical video game genres. It's not just a racing game, it's not just a shooter. The world of Grand Theft Auto falls under the all of the above category. GTA is a third person shooter, a street racing title, a golf game, bowling game, flying game, boat game, swimming game, blah blah blah, I think you get my point. The immersive open world of Grand Theft Auto gives you a certain amount of freedom that few other video games offer. That same freedom has also been the center of the game's controversy. Grand Theft Auto has been under a huge amount of scrutiny due to the fact that anything goes. The games have been said to encourage negative behavior. But I say, if anything, that Grand Theft Auto gives players a safe and controlled environment to do what they want. It's better for it to take place in a video game world rather than the real world, am I right? Anyways, don't get me started on that debate. We are here to talk about the creepiness that comes along with Grand Theft Auto. The huge open worlds presented throughout the series leaves a lot of room for creepy Easter eggs. Now because of the many sequels and overwhelming amount of content, I've decided to cover three GTA titles. Grand Theft Auto San Andreas, Grand Theft Auto 4, and Grand Theft Auto 5. Mainly because these three have the creepiest Easter eggs, most interesting theories, and scariest locations. Run up in your spot like CJ from San Andreas. Grand Theft Auto has been around for quite some time. The first game was released in 1997 and has always had room for creepy Easter eggs much like the bloody hotel room in the unused Vice City mission. In 2004, Rockstar Games released Grand Theft Auto San Andreas. The game was promoted as having the largest map of the time, using three cities rather than the usual one. Based off of the Southern California Nevada region, Rockstar based San Andreas' three main towns off of real-life cities. Los Santos being like Los Angeles, San Fierro like San Francisco, and Las Venturas representing Las Vegas. Surrounding Los Santos and San Fierro were rural areas complete with forests and small towns, and deserts surrounded the northeastern area around Las Venturas. Rockstar took advantage of San Andreas' large wooded areas and vast deserts to plant all kinds of Easter eggs to reward players who took the time to seek them out. Now, because there are so many Easter eggs, theories, and myths, I figured I'll need some help on this one. So joining me today, you know him, I know him, we all know him, my buddy Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers, host of Haunted Gaming. Join me in welcoming back Mudahar. Thank you, Mike. Around the Las Venturas desert lies Area 69, Rockstar's take on the infamous Area 51. 
If this doesn't sound like the perfect place for an alien life form, then I don't know what does. See, players have reported all kinds of extraterrestrial activity in the state of San Andreas, ranging from gray aliens to UFOs. Throughout the game, you may notice strange lights in the sky at nighttime. Some say the lights are supposed to be, uh, be planes, others say that they are clearly UFOs. There are also many in-game references, including the mission Black Project. The woman on the PA system can be heard saying, All personnel working on alien bodies, evacuate immediately. Other NPCs throughout San Andreas could also be heard talking about their own personal alien experiences. Some gamers feel that other San Andreas myths tie in with that of aliens. Many feel that the notorious Mr. Trenchcoat, as well as the reported Men in Black agents, add to the intricate myth. One location worth mentioning is the Little Probe Inn. There you will discover this large map on the back wall. The same map can be found at Mike Torino's ranch. On the map itself, you will notice these mysterious round markers. Many players speculate that these are actual locations where you could see UFOs. This is unconfirmed, although most players will agree that these seven marks are definitely places of interest. Since the game's release in 2004, players have reported seeing a large creature in the southwest region of the game's map. Rumors began going around claiming that a Bigfoot or Sasquatch could be found wandering around the woods outside of Los Santos. Reports claim that this was indeed a rare event and would take a great deal of searching in order to find them. Some gamers have said that the Sasquatch will attack you late at night out of nowhere, adding tension to players stranded out in the woods. Over time, videos and pictures began springing up all over the internet. But because of the inconsistencies as well as available PC mods, it's become near impossible to validate these claims. In another Rockstar game, Red Dead Redemption, rumors sprang up again stating that Bigfoot could be found. Well, Bigfoot was included in a mission in the Undead Nightmare DLC. Once completing the mission, you will receive a trophy or achievement entitled Six Years in the Making. As I stated before, San Andreas came out in 2004. When did Red Dead Redemption come out? That's right, 2010, exactly six years later. Nice touch. Now, there are a lot of contradicting reports of this, but the similarities state that a strange white male can be found in the smaller rural towns walking the streets his in-game dialogue can be pretty disturbing. If you walk near him, he will say things such as, The aliens are coming. Can't let him take me again. You can't steal my mind. You green-blooded abominations. And it's the voices. Players have reported that this pedestrian actually attacking them, and in a few cases killing them or another NPC. The appearance of this man has differed from story to story, but most gamers describe the man as an older white male wearing a black coat along with a black cowboy hat. Because of this, he has been uh, coined the name of Mr. Trenchcoat. It has been said that if you wish to see Mr. Trenchcoat, then head to the Fort Carson area. As mentioned earlier, some believe that he has connections with aliens or even men in black. The NPC itself is actually in the game, but whether or not he kills is still up for debate. If you are in the Flint County area and you see a photographer taking pictures, do yourself a favor and take a few moments to observe. You will notice the photographer snap a few photos before throwing themselves off of a nearby cliff. You will usually find this suicidal photographer near a body of water. They will take a few pictures and then cast themselves off of a cliff, subsequently drowning in the water below. It is not known if this was intentionally programmed into the game or if this was just some strange glitch. Either way, this is one of the few San Andreas urban legends that can actually be confirmed. If you explore the desert in Bone County, you might stumble upon a mass grave. You'll see a shovel, bobcat truck, and a pit filled with six body bags. It can be a creepy feeling just walking around, minding your own business, and then all of a sudden, finding this! Who or what was in the body bags and who put them there? It's actually believed that the DJ from the in-game radio station, K-Rose, 
could have been behind this. Her name is Mary Beth Mabel, and claims that she had six husbands, <laughs> all of which were six feet under. In some wooded areas of San Andreas, an old beat-up Glendale can be found. At times, it has been said that the car actually comes to life. This is one of the few San Andreas myths that I can say I've actually seen for myself. The old Glendale spawn in the woods and are supposed to represent old abandoned cars, but for whatever reason, some of them will actually start up and drive on their own. It is unknown whether or not this was intentional or just another glitch, but because the car is a Glendale, I'd personally say that this was intentional. Horror writer Stephen King once wrote a book entitled Christine, in which an old Plymouth Fury gets possessed by supernatural forces. If you look closely at the Glendale, you will notice that it resembles a 1958 model Plymouth Fury. Because of this, I feel like this was an intentional Easter egg from Rockstar. Somebody must have been a fan. GTA San Andreas was, and in many ways still is, full of mystery. In an age prior to YouTube and other social media sites, these strange happenings got passed around as if they were real-life urban legends. It added a certain mystique about the game. It made you go hunt these Easter eggs down to see if you could experience them for yourself. So there you have it. San Andreas broke new ground and set up a formula that Rockstar would continue to follow and improve on. Because of the many theories, creepy easter eggs, scary locations, myths, and urban legends, GTA San Andreas has done more than enough to earn a spot in creepy gaming history. I would like to thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. I would also like to thank Mudahar from Some Ordinary Gamers. Be sure to subscribe to his channel if you haven't already. Like and favorite for more creepy gaming. Be sure to like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter at the paddle at X Mullet Mike X. Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Hi, I'm Mullet Mike with a paddle and y'all saying keep it, stay creepy. Thanks for watching. Peace.